Like the 45 made it about 10 and a half inches. And I can't see the 357 in there yet. I'll cut it apart and find that. Oh, there it is. Looks like the 357 made it about 12 inches. I'll double check all that once we get it cut apart. All right, here's the 45. I just cut into it. You can see that channel there, and then there's the actual round still in it. I'll try to clean this up a little bit more. You can see the 357 sig. Down in there, like I said, I'll clean this up a little bit more. See, there's the 45. There's the 357 SIG up there. Alright, here's the 357 SIG. Another shot of the 357 SIG on the other side. And there's the round in there. Here's the 45 side by side with the 357, just so you can compare both. Three fifty seven SIG, and here's a forty five. Alright, here are the recovered rounds. It's the 45 there, 357 SIG there. And the 45 comes out to 0.72 maximum width. 
357 SIG comes out to 0 0.63. either of these. See there's no jacket core separation on either of them. These bonded bullets really hold together well. It's a spear gold dots.